Andre Taylor. Not this time. All right. So Andre Taylor has been named the street czar. And so um, this is for from publicola.com. Publicola.com. You got this one up there, Daryl? All right. So he's he's been named the street czar. The city of Seattle has signed a $12,500 a month contract with Not This Time. The grassroots group formed, uh, founded by community activist Andre Taylor after his brother Che Taylor was shot and killed by two Seattle police officers in 2016. So under this agreement, Taylor, um, the city will pay Taylor a total of $150,000 over 12 months to act as the street czar, providing community safety and de-escalation services. He's also getting office space there in Municipal Tower. Um, it says here that uh, he's to provide recommendations to the city on de-escalation, community engagement, and alternatives to policing, and to continue not this time's conversation with the streets, uh, streets program amongst other responsibilities. Um, and it says here, the contract says that not this time will work on urgent de-escalation of conflict and violence between police and community assembling in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Mm. This is interesting. I mean, you know, this is interesting. I mean, for me, it's very interesting. That's all. I mean, that's the word that's... Um, come into mind for me right now. I think there's a lot of people working on this. Um, I think maybe there's some partnerships that can form out of this. Um, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of opinions on the streets about this. I think we kind of saw it. We saw it right here. Some of the footage that we actually captured when, you know, you were calling for leaders in the chop and then he appeared in the chop and people were like, what are you doing here in the chop? Um, it didn't go so well. So, I mean, this is something that we'll have to see how it plays out, honestly. Um, you know, we do want de-escalation tactics. We do want a community approach. Um, you know, this is, this is an interesting partnership. Well, you know, Andre Taylor has been working with, with the city for a while. Uh, conversations with the streets, we saw that. And um, during the protest, Andre Taylor was, was basically right there at many of the mayor's press conferences when, uh, during CHOP um, and the Western Barricade. We, we saw that Andre Taylor was right there with the mayor. Um, the streets are, so it's, it's, it's a few different things, is that... Um, I don't know why the term street czar, you know, I'm, it's, it's a bit problematic to, to me personally. Um, I, and is it is because he's black, it's, it's the street czar, you know, I mean, like, why not just de-escalation specialist? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's a street czar, you know, has, has a big, you know, connotation. And I think that, you know, especially when we were we were out there on on Capitol Hill, and we're, we're still out there a lot, and you know, still talk to a lot of protesters. These aren't necessarily people that you would term as the streets. You know, in our community, the black community, streets. You know, a lot of times we might say, you know, gang member or gang affiliation, or you know, or someone in that marginalized kind of space. That isn't necessarily, at least, what we see up on. Is that what you see up there, Bobby, Capitol Hill? people from the streets like gangs no and so you know it's 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 kind of it's confusing in the way one that the city has presented this because that what we see on the ground there on capitol hill isn't um a population that at least us in our community would consider the street population like we know the streets you know what i'm saying we're right here um you know in the central district and so the, the, the term street czar is, uh, you know, I'm having a bit, a bit of difficulty with that. And then, you know, but because he's black, like I said, is it, is it street czar? And then also, is it like, man, us people are only street? Right. I mean, you know, we're, we're all black. You know, I got, 
I got one daughter graduated from college, the other one in college, the other one on the way. Man, I don't have any street affiliation. I mean, I know everybody on the streets, but I mean, there's there's a big population that's in our community, just like any other community that just goes to work every day and comes right, home. Right, right. And, and, and that's why this is, uh, the, my word interesting is real for me because um, I, you know, a lot of the times I'm absorbing the news when I'm sitting here, right? And so this is one that I think we definitely need to follow. I mean, when uh, when we talk about following the money, right? I just go back to some of our some of the things that we've been following. When we talk about following the money, we knew that there was going to need to be an agency, some sense of, hey, how is the city and the government connected to the community? Uh, we did see Andre Taylor, uh, you know, appearing with the mayor uh, several times during CHOP and CHAZ. Uh, but this is something that I think a lot of folks in the community are going to have to also absorb and realize, like, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm not connected to him. Like, how does he, how did, did he get chosen to be this representative of the streets or do this work. I think there's a lot of, of, of question from me and my person specifically about that because we talk about that all the time when we talk about backdoor tactics that kind of happen in this top-down approach where you know we've seen this in the black community time and time again whether it is one agency one person whoever this preacher or that person or this it doesn't matter ultimately the idea is that city government can work with one entity or you know hey we, we well we, we're talking to these people Again, we see that black is not a monolith. When you when you have these uh, these people, unfortunately, they don't always represent everybody that you're hoping they represent, and they're not connected or plugged in. So this is going to be an interesting thing well, to follow. I think that uh, you know, for for me as well, and uh, words matter clearly. That you know, like I said, the the phrase "streets are" is is problematic. Yeah. Um, especially since. You know, I mean, like, what, which one? Which one is it, or is it some of everything? Because there, there is a big community that's working with the de-escalation in our in the black community, yeah. and they can definitely use more hands, all 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 hands on deck. Yeah. And whether it's Paul Patu, we we played his interview yesterday from Urban Family, or or the Willard Jimmersons, or the Drake Franklins, or the Coach Doms, or the Sean Goods, right. or all the ino anonymous people who every day are working hard in the community around de-escalation. Look at people up there, rotary basketball yeah. and, and sports coaches and tutors and everything else that are in our community, even somebody like Earl Lancaster, the barbers. I mean, it's a community effort uh, for, for, for de-escalation. So they are working every day to de-escalate these black streets yep. in, the, you know, in this black community. And when in reading this where it's saying that okay well de-escalation again of of this population up on capitol hill where a lot of the the protesters there which is really it's a mixed bag there's there's people from all kinds of backgrounds that that we found there you know at the protest does does then does the does the title street czar actually engender um, like you know a bridge building and communication between that population that's up there on capitol hill uh, you know, I mean, this, that's what, what just really jumped out with, to me on this is, like I said, it's um, urgent de-escalation of conflict and violence between the police and community assembling in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Um, and so, you know, we, we, we've talked to some people just, I mean, they contacted us, people mm -hmm. who were in the, in the protest movement and everything else, and they, you know, they're kind of like, well, the streets are. Um, and that's not to take away from Andre Taylor's efforts. You know, he man, you know, he pushed through I nine forty, and I nine forty is is the actual um, law that the officer, Officer Nielsen, down there, um, who who's actually facing charges for the the murder um, down in Auburn, mm -hmm. because of of I nine forty. Andre Taylor's done his his conversations with the street, yeah. brought brought a lot of dynamic people here into Seattle um, for conversations with people. Um, but like I said, I, I think that spinning it out as street czar and yeah. Well, also too, what you just pointed out in terms of it being about de-escalating Capitol Hill, which really what we see in Capitol Hill is protesters. Again, not street beef happening in Capitol Hill. It's protesters. And it outlines right there that it's about 
uh, people in Capitol Hill and their po and their interactions with the police. So for me in the black community, again, this isn't addressing the crime that's happening in the black community against black people. Like that's not really addressing it also because we're seeing a rise in gun violence and with our youth dying in these streets. And I'm wondering how right. much I of mean, this work for, is going to impact for, that. For the, for the black community, you know, I mean, we're, we're facing a crisis yeah. in, in gun violence and shootings, like 100%. Um, it's unfortunate up there in Capitol Hill, um, you know, I mean, people, there, there's protests that are going on. I'm not I'm saying protesting is unfortunate, but, you know, they're, they're, the protests are going on, but nobody's dying. Right. You know, no, no, nobody's dying or being, being murdered or being shot up there on, on, on Capitol Hill. Um, but in our community, in the Central District, in the South End, this, uh, I mean, it's an outrageous uptick. And even uh, outside of our city, uh, especially in South King County, the gun violence issue that's, that's there. And so, like, sitting here, of course, I'm not talking for the whole black community, right. but sitting here in the Central District on 23rd or 24th and Union in the Liberty Bank building, um, the big issue in our community is gun violence. Yes period, point blank. And so when I heard originally Street Czar, I thought, oh, you know, he's going to be de-escalating gang violence. I mean, right. I initially right. went 100%. straight to gangs and what we're seeing. And, that, and some of it's not even well. gang affiliation. Some right. of it's just youth group and this, beef and right. beef. You know what and I mean? And actually a lot of it isn't gang. It's right. young, young people with, with, with guns. Right. That's what I thought as well when, yeah. when, you know, when I saw, when I saw Street Czar. So, you know, um, we were actually supposed to have Andre Taylor on the show a few weeks ago, but, you know, our, our, our timing didn't work out. I, I reached out to him about, uh, I think it was Saturday. Mm -hmm. I reached out to him as well before this news came out. So it would be interesting to get Andre Taylor on, on the show and talk to him about what he sees as the next steps in, um, you know, what, what he measures as success yeah. in, in his position as street czar um, and you know, what some of the tactics are. That, that he plans to employ to, let me get it right here, to de-escalate um, for the urgent de-escalation of conflict and violence between the police and community assembling in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'll reach back out to Andre Taylor and, and see if we can have a conversation with him about what, you know, what his tactics are. Yeah, I also think it would be important for the community to understand what are the deliverables of that kind of job? That's like a new thing in the mayor's office, right? This is a new kind of partnership. I think the community would like to know, like, what is it that you're supposed to do in that role? Like, what are the deliverables that the mayor is expecting you to bring back? I think that would be interesting, too. So we'll right. see. Well, I mean, the, one of the big deliverables, again, right here, urgent de-escalation of conflict and violence between the police and community assembled in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So... Um, that's that. But, you know, this this news brought up something, you know, real interesting. Putting, putting Andre Taylor to, to the side here.